What if I tell you that there's a website that enables you to make music and lets you record and mix your own instruments and vocals and lets you download unlimited royalty-free sample packs and sounds for your own project and it also has a powerful and feature-packed DAW to create your next big hit. And not just that, it does all of this for free. You heard that right. Dear musicians, creators and artists around the world, presenting to you BandLab. Let's talk more about it. To be educated, but I'm so frustrated. What is good you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Deep and I make videos about music, DJing and tech. So if this interests you, consider subscribing. Now let's talk about BandLab. When I got to know about BandLab, I knew that I had to make a video about this. I mean, it's just a brilliant platform for a lot of things. If you're any kind of musician, creator, an artist, I'm sure there's something for you on that website. So BandLab can be used for a lot of things, but today I'm going to show you how to instantly start making music using their free online DAW. And for that, I'm going to concentrate on their studio and sounds feature for this video. Let me just go to the website and show you what I'm talking about. On your browser, visit www.bandlab.com. The link is in the description. Here is their amazing website. Click on the products tab here and you can see all the amazing things it has to offer. To start making music, click on Studio under the Products tab and here you can see that BandLab provides a 100% free online DAW. Oh and by the way, BandLab is also available as an app on iPhone, iPad and Android devices. Click on the Get Started tab here and you will be asked to create a free account. Create a free account and log in. Once you're logged in, click on the Create tab on the top right and click on the New Project and that will load the free online DAW called BandLab Studio. BandLab gives you many different ways to start a project. You can start by recording your own vocals or play the keyboard or the guitar, etc. Or you can also use the BandLab Sounds feature where it has a huge collection of royalty-free sounds and artist sample packs all for free. So let's click on BandLab Sounds and start a new project. Now you'll see that the sound tab is open here on the right. This is a goldmine for producers. You can use any of these sounds to create your own music. Click on the sample pack to hear the example and you can choose whatever you like. Or you can search for the kind of sound you're looking for. For example, today I'm in the mood for a chill, lo-fi kind of a sound. So I'll start by typing lo-fi in the search tab and then choose a sound I like from the library. I like this lo-fi soul sound pack because it has a nice rustic retro feel to it. So I'm going to click on it and that will show all the sounds in the sample pack. You can click on the sounds to give it a listen. Oh, I like this keyboard loop. I'm going to click on it and you'll see it'll be added to the new project. Oh yeah, it might ask you for the microphone access. If you're a vocalist, if you want to record vocals through the microphone on your uh, laptop, you can uh, enable this. Otherwise, you can just ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. Now, because this loop is in the G minor key, it is asking if you would like the project to be set to G minor. Just click set. Now you'll see the project key is set to G minor and the loop you just selected has been added to the project. You can press play and give it a listen. Nice, I like that. As you can see, this is a four bar loop. You can move the cursor to the top right corner of the file, click on that little loop icon and drag it out to make it as long as you would like. For example, I'm going to make this a 16 bar loop. Now let's add more sounds to this. Since keys are already added, let's look for some bass. 
Here I see this 4 bar G minor bass loop. Let's give that a listen. Nice, I like that a lot. I'm gonna bring that in, drag and drop it, or double click it to add to the project. Let's drag it and make it a 16 bar loop, like the keys. And I would also like this to play after the first 4 bar loop of the keys. So let's grab and move it to the beginning of the 5th bar. Now let's listen to this together with the keys. I like that a lot. Here you can see the project is set to 77 BPM. You can change the speed of the track by moving up and down. I'm gonna move it to 80 and click adjust. Now when you hit play, the project will play at 80 BPM. All right, time to add some beats to this track. Let's search one and add that to the project. You can also type drum in the search bar and it will show you all the drum loops in the sample pack. I'm gonna drag this and have it play after the keys and the bass. Let's do that and give it a listen. Nice. I'm loving it so far. And now that we have the keys, the bass and the drums, let's add some guitar as well. Search for guitar and find a sound that fits well. I'm gonna go with this G minor guitar sound, adding the same and adjusting it to play after the beats. Let's give this whole thing a listen. Did you just see that? That is how easy it is to start creating music using BandLab sounds in the BandLab DAW. All this would normally take a couple of weeks for someone new, but we were able to do this in a matter of minutes and that is the power of this amazing tool called BandLab. Now all you need to do is complete the arrangement and make this a 2-3 minute track and then save the project. Once done, you can exit the project and you'll see that the project is exported as a track and it is ready to publish. From here, you can publish this track and share it with the amazing BandLab community like all the other amazing artists in the platform and get their feedback. Now apart from studio and sound, BandLab also offers a lot of other amazing tools for artists and music producers. And that's how you can learn to be a music producer fast and easy with BandLab. Like I said, you don't even need a computer. You can actually do this on your iPad, your iPhone or your Android devices. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram ID is DJ Deep Bhamra for more short videos about BandLab releasing shortly.
So that's it for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today and that you guys got to learn something new. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And while you're at it, it'll be nice if you can click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. That's been it. My name is Deep and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy to help. I wish I knew.